Good morning, and welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita, and today we're making a simple chickpea scramble for breakfast. At this point, I'm pretty convinced that beans are some of the best foods on the planet. They're filling, cheap, good for you, and they are so damn versatile. Chickpeas specifically can be used not just for an addition to savory meals like curry and chili, but they can also be turned into vegan tuna salad, vegan meatless meatloaf, hummus, a variety of desserts including loaves and cookie dough, and today we're turning them into a great breakfast to replace the traditional scramble. So here's everything you need to make this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below along with a link to the blog post with some tasty looking photos and a printable recipe card. This recipe is also one of the easiest I've shown on my channel to date, so it's perfect for your morning meal. The prep is also super quick and can even be done the night before to make cooking this even faster. So let's set the morning tea aside and get right into it. We'll start with the veggie prep. You'll pick out whatever veggies you want to add, cut them up, or just hit them really hard and hope they cut themselves. And then finally dice your onion. I typically go with diced Roma tomato, bell pepper, and mushrooms. My only note here is just to keep in mind the hardness of your veggies and to cut them to appropriate sizes. The harder the vegetable, the smaller you'll want to cut it, and then the softer and more watery, the smaller just so that everything cooks evenly. Next, you can either break your chickpeas up by using a fork and then adding vegetable broth and stirring everything together or by putting them both into a high-speed blender and pulsing them a couple times. You want the chickpeas to still have some of their texture and you can honestly throw them in whole if you'd like, but I just find that breaking them up, it feels a bit more like a scramble and less like chickpeas and spices. I also use a nonstick pan for this recipe and would recommend it so that you don't get a lot of stickiness in your pan, but you could probably get by with a stainless steel pan and a lower heat. All right, so we'll aggressively throw our onions into the pan and soften them for two to four minutes before adding our other veggies. Again, keep in mind the hardness of your veggies, adding things like broccoli or carrots and cooking them for a few minutes first than the softer, more watery things like bell pepper, tomatoes, or mushrooms. The same as with all of my other oilless saute recipes, you're just looking to soften and cook the water off in your veggies before moving on to the next step. When you do get that slightest bit of browning on the bottom of the pan, you'll add your spices. Nutritional yeast, chili powder, turmeric, and paprika. And cook for an additional minute or two. Then in goes the vegetable broth and chickpeas. From here, there's really no messing up when you're ready to turn off the heat. You're just mixing everything together evenly and cooking off some of the liquid to thicken it up a little bit. I take my scramble off of the heat after just another two to four minutes. I like my scramble over toast, so I'm gonna grab a couple slices of bread, toast them up, and then serve up my scramble with some parsley, basil, and a bit of salt and pepper for a taste test. This scramble is a perfect, easy breakfast, tastes great, and takes wonderfully to your favorite veggies. It goes great by itself, or it pairs well with other breakfast favorites like hash browns, breakfast potatoes, or hash, and can even be served with fresh tomatoes, salsa, or sliced avocado. I've kept it pretty simple, but you can get creative, and I would love to know what you come up with. As I mentioned, you can also do your veggie prep the night before, or you can even make the entire scramble a couple of days in advance and take it with you on the go because it stores great in the fridge. I love it for breakfast because chickpeas, onion, and a mix of spices is something that I always have around, so it's really easy to throw together without even having to think about it. And I can make it in the morning or the night before if I want a simple, no-fuss breakfast that tastes great. For how it stacks up against an alternative, you can check out the full nutrition label on the blog that links out to Chronometer, but this recipe is going to be just like my others. When comparing it to a non-vegan or a vegan processed option, it will very likely cost you less to make, have more fiber, and you get to eat more of it for the same number of calories. So that's it for today's recipe. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day -day content. Also, if there's a recipe that you'd like to see from me, let me know. I am always looking for new ideas. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye!